Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do my first ever perfume declutter video. So yeah, these are all the fragrances that I think I want to just remove from my collection. I have not been wearing them. Either I don't like them. I'll explain why I'm trying to declutter them. And yeah, so, and if you guys are interested, I do list them on my Macari and then sometimes I list them on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys keep on watching. All right, y'all. So if you guys are wondering what's on my lips, I was feeling like I want to be like super fall, I'm giving lot fall vibes today. And I have one of my favorite, a uh, Odie, but still a favorite, Milani uh, lipstick. And this is in the shade 450 Desire. I think I have a lip swatch video on these as well as other shades. So I'll link that in the cards if you guys are wondering. But yeah, I'll start with Fragrance Mist. These two fragrance mists are from Victoria's Secret. I love Victoria's Secret fragrance mists. I have some that I want to purchase, the newer ones that have come out, but I've been trying to use up what I have. And these two, I just know I'm most likely not going to use. And this first one is Victoria's Secret Lush Air. And this is Lotus Flowers Salted Musk, and it says Among the Breeze, whatever that means. And this is like a candy green type of scent and I'm not like a green green scent type of person I just don't like them it's not my fave so yeah that's what it's giving me floral green so yeah, if you're into that then check out my Macari but if not it'll be listed on there for someone who's interested this next one is Ruby Rose and this one is sparkling raspberry velvet rose and says dipped decadence raspberry and rose petals very, very, very strong of the rose. The raspberry is there too because it's a little bit tart. Whenever I smell like raspberry, it can be a little tart. So this is a raspberry floral scent, heavy on the rose. And it's just a little bit too rosy for me. So that's why I'm getting choosing to get rid of this one. And that's it for the fragrance mist for now. The next ones are all going to be perfumes, fragrances. And this first one is Versace's Eros Porfim. And I do have still have the box for this, as you guys can see. This is what we're working with. Oh, I remember I wanted this so bad. And this is, as you guys can see, I've barely worn this. Um, I'm not going to list notes because I don't have anything in front of me. But it smells good, but it's just, I have a hard time. I don't know. I'm, I'm not fond of this. It's not my favorite. It's just, I don't know. I'm My scent profile is like sweet. Um, I like flirty, uh, fun, vibrant. I like clean fragrances, but I love, love, love sweet. Kind of slightly gourmand, not too gourmand. I love vanilla scents. So that's like my scent profile. A little fruity, like fruity florals. This one, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's the, it has woody, woodiness in it. It's okay. It's just, I can't do this when I spray it. It smells decent from the bottle. It's just not for me. I don't want it to keep sitting in my collection. So we are going to list this. The next one is Dolce and Gabbana Rose. Same reason I don't like this is the rose. Like me and rose, we have like it can work in some fragrances and in the next it can't work. So this one is one of the fragrances. Unfortunately, that does not work because it smells good when I smell it through the bottle. But when I spray, but yeah, this is just the rose in it. It's just too much for me, so we are going to get rid of that. And as you guys can see, I have not used much of this at all. Still a lot left. All right, this next one is from Dossier. This is Floriental Vanilla. And, you know, Dossier does the inspired fragrances, and I cannot remember. My mind has gone blank. It's like at the tip of my tongue on what this is inspired by. I have it linked somewhere on the screen or said on the screen but the top notes is mandarin pear pink pepper licorice <clears throat> middle notes jasmine orange blossom base notes cedarwood patchouli vanilla coffee it's okay not my type of fragrance so we are just going to get rid of that this next one is apple juice and this is by zara this is it's the fragrance that smells um that has like not pomegranate grapefruit i can't think of what it is but 
this is inspired by that fragrance as well. And um, yeah, not my type of scent either. So we're going to get rid of that. And I think I have another fragrance. I have a dossier fragrance that dupes that same fragrance. So that's why I was like, I'm getting rid of this one. <clears throat> so I'll keep the other one. All right, this next one is Victoria's Secret, and it is, what is this? Celebration, you guys. I have this on my perfume tray. If you guys watch my um, October perfume tray, I'll have it linked in the cards up here. I had this on my tray, and I wore it last week, and you guys, I started feeling nauseous. This is a pretty fragrance when I smell it through the bottle, but when I spray it, it's very pretty. I'm debating if I want to get rid of this. I don't know. Maybe I spray it too much. But it kind of made me feel a little nauseous. So, But look at the bottle. It's so pretty. It looks like a celebration. I just don't want to get rid of it. As you guys can see, still have so much liquid left. <sighs> yeah, that's a possible maybe declutter. This next one, I did not want to declutter because it was gifted to me for my husband one year. And I just hate getting rid of gifts, but this fragrance just does not suit me. It's too strong. It's too much. And that is the original YSL Libre, um, the original. <clears throat> such, such a boss, cute, love it, like bottle. But the fragrance is just too much. The Latin, oh, it's just so strong. The only thing that I like about this fragrance is the dry down. And like I had to deal with the, the how strong it is until it finally dries down on my skin. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna get rid of this. I've had this for so long, and as you guys can see, I've barely made a dent in it, and I have to use so little because of how strong it is to me that I just, I, I just know I'm not gonna get through it, so that's a declutter. The next one is a Odi. This is Vince Camuto Amore. And this is such a pretty bottle. My daughter, she loves this. So that's why I'm debating. Not that she loves the scent, but she loves, like she says, she's a princess. She puts it on her head because this kind of looks like a crown. But um, yeah, I'm debating getting <laughs> rid of this for that reason. But I, don't, I do not wear this. I could just wear this to bed. But this is like a floral, not like a floral, but a very, very fruity type fragrance. Just innocent, fruity, fun. It doesn't really last that long. I guess I could use it and just wear it for bed and so I can keep the bottle since my daughter likes it. But if I decide to legit declutter, this will be listed on my Macari. But yeah, I really want to get rid of that because I don't wear it. <clears throat> Next, we have another Zara fragrance and this is Peony by Zara. And this is such a huge bottle. This does not smell bad. I'm going to spray it. It doesn't smell bad, it just does not last, and it's such a big bottle, so I just want to get rid of it to someone who possibly wants it and will wear it. And lastly, we have Gucci's Bamboo, and y'all, I have not, I have a hard time wearing this as well. <sighs> Another one, it's not my scent profile, like if I was to smell this in the store, and this was gifted to me, I would not buy it for myself, it's just not my scent profile. I Like I said, I love sweet flirty, fun, look, fruity floral type fragrances, warm, semi-gourmand, not too gourmand, vanilla fragrances. This does not, it's none of that. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting rid of Gucci Bamboo. I tried to make it work. My husband does like it on me, but I just don't like it. And yeah, this is how much I've used. And y'all, that is it for my perfect declutter. See, I've always been the type like, oh, I'm not going to declutter. I'm just going to use it what I have and find a way to use it. But you guys, I don't want just a whole bunch of fragrances sitting. And there's so many new fragrances that I want that I've been holding off on getting. Like I've been on a no buy. I can count on one hand how many perfumes I bought this year. And that includes like travel sprays. So yeah, I've been doing good on not buying, but... I really want to buy. I really want some new perfumes and I feel like I need to get rid of the ones that I'm not going to wear. So yeah, you guys comment down below some of the fragrances that you recorded with my phone today and I didn't realize that it stopped me in the middle of me talking. So hopefully, I don't know where I left off. But yeah, comment down below what fragrances you plan on decluttering. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Love you guys and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.